Willkommen! My name is Sean Huggins, I'm an American living in Germany and on this channel I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. So if you enjoy, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. And today's comment of the day comes from Aaron Snyes. And this, and this is actually a super thanks. A super thanks. First, I got a super sticker, then I got a super comment, now I got a super thanks. YouTube, how many super things do you need? <laughs> this is so confusing. But this is my first ever super thanks that I've ever gotten. <laughs> Two euros from Aaron Sniz. And he says, you're right, mouse. Thanks for the content, hugs. This is in reference to my super <laughs> comment that I got from Mouse the German yesterday <laughs> saying, guys, support the channel. Every cent is worth it. <laughs> I mean, you guys are crazy right now. Aaron, thank you for the two euros. I really appreciate it. But more so, thank you for the kind words and for just enjoying the content. I appreciate that so much. Like I said yesterday, I will be forever grateful for any of these super things that I get, obviously, but I don't want people to feel like they have to do any of that stuff. I'm just happy that you guys are here and that people are leaving such nice comments saying that they enjoy the content. So thank you again for the two euros. It is very much appreciated, but even just liking, commenting, and subscribing below is more than enough. So let's get into today's reaction. Today I have my best tropical t-shirt on. <laughs> Because we're taking a look at Tropical Islands Resort in a German blimp hangar. This title definitely caught my eye, I'll tell you that much. I don't even know what to make of this. Apparently there is a tropical island inside of a blimp hangar in somewhere in Germany. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. This is already a crazy title. So let's just find out together. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This sounds really cool. Wunderwelt. Nestled in the middle oh my of the God. forest in Germany. What? Dude, hold on a second. Dude. You will find one of the world's largest. Oh my God. This looks like a UFO just crash landed on Earth or something. This is so bizarre looking. Look how crazy this looks compared to the surrounding area. It doesn't fit in at all. It's so huge. Oh my God. Dude, this is so sick. This looks like something out of a science fiction movie or something. Man. Largest buildings. An egg wait, 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 forest what? in Germany. Oh you my will find gosh. one of the world's largest buildings. This is one of the world's largest buildings. Okay, that makes sense now i can <laughs> i can definitely tell this is crazy look at this monstrosity <laughs> what a unit an aircraft hangar oh my that used gosh. to house blimps but now houses a tropical oasis what? thing what yo there's a whole entire world inside of this thing <laughs> what they brought a jungle inside oh my gosh holy crap this is blowing my mind right now. This is like, this is like something I would think up as a little kid and be like, I want to take the outside and put it inside. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Just, I want to take all the outside and just put it, I just want to put the whole outside inside. And adults are like, ah, kids. <laughs> but no, they did it. They freaking did it. This is crazy. It's so beautiful looking and lush and tropical. Park by the name of Tropical Islands Resort. The resort is actually wow. located on the side of they a, a former beach. Soviet military airbase in Krosnik, Germany. It's, oh my god, so huge! Built originally to house Zeppelin airships designed oh to haul long-distance cargo. This gargantuan hangar is huge. Look at that back there, they have a whole town! They have a whole town inside, away from the entire beach island that they have, also inside. What? This is literally out of like science fiction to me. This is crazy. It is the biggest freestanding hall in the world. Wow. It is 1,180. Oh my gosh, dude. Imagine just going to this place and like just walking around all day. All day. You could just explore this place all day. Walking around a forest. You could explore the tropical island forest all day just walking around. <laughs> You're just inside. This is, is this not crazy to anyone else or is this just crazy to me? 
689 feet wide and 351 feet tall. Oh man. To put that into perspective, Whoa. you can fit inside eight football fields and the Statue of Liberty. Or eight football fields and the Statue of Liberty. I can't even wrap my head around how big that is. That is so, that's so big. You could slide the Eiffel Tower in on its side. Oh my God. Dang, look at the beach. <laughs> Yo, I like how they have the clouds there, like the little horizon. Oh my gosh, so sick. The beach is very cool looking. It looks very nice. But the 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 other stuff, the tropical forest and like the buildings, the the buildings that are inside the building, those are the craziest things. The beach, very cool. Don't get me wrong. But the other stuff is like the other stuff is what's blowing my mind. The man-made paradise is now a getaway of choice for German and Polish families wow. who want to experience a rainforest atmosphere in Central Europe. Okay. The theme park is split into four sections. The tropical village, the rainforest, the tropical sea, and the Bali Lagoon. Oh my god, run it back, run it back, run it back. Dude, they have a freaking car driving on the inside. They have car they have streets and cars driving inside. Village, Look at this. The rainforest. Look at this down at the bottom of the screen. Down straight down at the very bottom of the screen. Right here. Right here. Right here. Check this out. They have cars yeah, driving the inside. Look at it. Oh my gosh. The rainforest is said to be the biggest indoor rainforest replica in the world. I and is that. home. They have animals inside! Oh my god. Dude, I need to go here. They have animals inside. This is like a real rainforest just inside. This is so sick. To 50,000 plants of wow, 600 different species. Wow, flamingos. Plus various exotic birds, turtles, and fish. Are those also sharks? Various exotic birds, turtles, and fish. Uh, this little guy right here looks like a tiny little shark. Is that a shark inside of this thing? <laughs> Imagine you go in the ocean and there's a shark in there that bites you. <laughs> uh, that's not funny. That's not funny. Nobody laugh at that. Anyways. There is also a 3,000 square meter sea with a 200 meter long beach. That Whoa, what is going on here? What is, what, is, what is this camera angle? Is this somebody parachuting inside or something like that? What is, or is this a kite? What is happening? I'm getting afraid of heights just looking at this angle right now. <laughs> stretches along its shoreline. Wow. The park is also oh, covered man, with a that. large number of whirlpools, jacuzzis, water slides, pools, Whoa. a waterfall, as well as Germany's tallest oh. slide at 27 meters. Oh, I love there water slides. There are 13 different restaurants, bars, and lounges. 13 restaurants, bars, and lounges. 13. 13 different places to eat and drink inside of a building that has its own ocean and island and other villages. <laughs> This is so cool. A mini golf course, and there are even tethered <gasps> balloon rides that soar. That's what it is. It's a balloon ride. Dude, I knew it. I knew it was something like that. Oh my god. Gosh, this might be the coolest thing that I've seen on this channel so far. I'm not even kidding. This is so sick. Hot air balloon rides inside. This is so cool. Soar above the tropical forest where birds fly free. The birds can fly around you while you're up in the balloon? Oh my gosh. This is better than real life. There are three accommodation options within the giant dome. Oh, wow. From rooms and lodges to tents in the Adventure Rainforest no Camp. No way. There is also a... You can stay inside of that thing like you're at a little bungalow or like it in a little tent. Like you're camping on the beach. Add it to my list. Add it to a list of places that I have to go now. Dang it! The more I watch on this channel, the more places get added to my list of places that I gotta go, and <laughs> my bank account is just crying at me. <laughs> my bank account is screaming, no, don't do it. <laughs> This place is mind blowing to me. Campsite outside the dome. Even the as campsite well as is so cool. mobile homes and holiday homes. Wow. The hangar has year round heating with a oh, constant man. air temperature of 26 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 60%. Wow. The water temperature of the lagoon is 32 degrees and the oh. sea is 28 degrees. Oh, Re the sea is kind of cold, nice and refreshing. Very cool. Regardless of the weather outside the hangar, guests will always enjoy a temperature of 26 degrees. Wow. Needless to say, it's all lush, green and sweaty with inspiration taken from <laughs> locations like Bali, Thailand, oh and Fiji. 
Look at the cool little town. The little mark plots in this freaking town, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm at a loss for words right now. It's not often that I'm at a loss for words, but this might be the coolest thing that I've seen on this channel so far. The resort has been open oh since gosh. 2004 and attracts over 6,000 visitors a day and over 1.1 million they have people a visited in 2017. Aztec temple. Well, you know what they say, if you can't say? bring people to Fiji, bring Fiji to the people. My grandma used to always tell me that, actually, yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Wow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can even wrap my head around how big that place has to be to fit all that stuff inside of it. It's almost like its own world inside of this hangar. That is so cool it's literally the stuff out of like <laughs> my dreams as a kid this is such a cool idea i i feel like i have to go to this place at least once in my life that being said though what do you guys think have any of you guys been to this place is it as nice as this video seems to portray it or is this place overhyped i'm curious let me know down in the comments at any rate though that's all the time that i have for today if you enjoyed consider subscribing we got new videos every single day check the links down in the description for all of my other social media, including my vlog channel. Thank you guys so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.